Hey, it's Jordan with TYT, TYT Network. We're here at the Sheridan in West Des Moines, where Donald Trump just finished a very, very short concession speech, no more than five minutes. We were interviewing a Trump supporter with a cowboy hat when we heard the news that Ted Cruz had defeated Donald Trump. Do you think it's realistic to round up 11 million people? No, I think it's, it's probably not realistic. I mean, ultimately, it's one of those deals that makes a great sound bite, and, you know, it's kind of like build a wall. But I like the sound bite. I mean, ultimately, it's one of those things that... Republican caucuses tonight, a major win for Ted Cruz. What do you think about uh, Donald Trump losing to Ted Cruz? I don't think he lost. I think it's still a win. Coming even in second or third at this point in time, it doesn't really make too much difference. I, I don't know. I mean, obviously we wanted him to be in first place, but I don't think second place is bad. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Eric Byler and myself have a little friendly bet that Donald Trump is going to come out here in a few minutes and in response to losing Iowa, say, fuck Iowa. I was told by everybody, do not go to Iowa. You could never finish even in the top 10. <laughs> and I said, but I have friends in Iowa. I know a lot of people in Iowa. I think they'll really like me. Let's give it a shot. They said, don't do it. I said, I have to do it. <laughs> and we finished second. And I want to tell you something. I'm just honored. And we've had every indication. We're going now on. We have a poll. We're at 28 points ahead, OK? New Hampshire, we love New Hampshire. We love South Carolina. And we're leaving tonight. And tomorrow afternoon, we'll be in New Hampshire. And that'll be something special. It's going to be a great week. And we're going to be up here next week. And I think we're going to be proclaiming victory, I hope. It will say that we lived in the early years of this new century in an uncertain and difficult time. But we remember who we were. We rose up to the challenge of our time. We confronted our problems and we solved them. And because we did,